Hello and welcome to the Tank Spot Ice Crown Citadel Raid Guide. My name is Ellie and in this video I'll cover everything you need to know about the Heroic Mode 10 men version of the Lady Death Whisper encounter. I will assume that you're familiar with the normal version of this encounter. If you're not, I suggest first watching our guide to the 10 men normal mode to learn about Death Whisper's base abilities. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click more info on the movie information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Also be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to the right so you will be automatically notified as we release new movies. In her heroic version, Death Whisper has double the health and mana that she has in her normal incarnation, so both phases are going to take you a lot longer to down than you're used to. All adds also have more health and their abilities deal significantly more damage than you're used to from the normal version, so handle them with caution and try to never be near an ad casting Dark Martyrdom. If you're used to her 25-man version, you won't be too surprised by Death Whisper's occasional mind control. She uses this throughout both phases on one player at a time. Dominate mind lasts 12 seconds and will increase the affected player's damage by 200% and healing by 500%, so you'll want to use crowd control on them, especially if it's targeted at a high DPS class. As soon as you burn down her mana barrier in phase 2 starts, you'll notice that Death Whisper will continuously summon adds throughout phase 2 approximately every 45 seconds. They only spawn at the entrance to the room though, so you should pull her towards the entrance stairs when the phase starts. Also note that Death Whisper is not tauntable in phase 2, so in combination with Touch of Insignificance, this means both your tanks will need to be highest on threat at all times. Whoever is not currently affected by 5 stacks of the touch will need to pick up any new adds that spawn. They can be single targeted or AoE down, whichever you prefer. Lastly, the Vengeful Shades that spawn in Phase 2 do significantly more AoE damage when they reach their chosen target and hit it, so every single Raid member needs to stay spread out and keep an eye out for the Shades. Getting hit by one results in a 20k damage AoE explosion, and coupled with Frostbolt Volleyed can easily mean one or several deaths. Only one of them will spawn at a time, and they despawn after just a couple seconds, so kite them if you notice one following you. No other changes have been made to this encounter, so if your tanks are good at picking up multiple adds and your rate's awareness is good, this encounter should be one of the easier heroic modes. Good luck! Thank you for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box. 